Hello, and welcome. This is a game that I had my eye on for a while, honestly. Um, and I bought it almost immediately after it came out, and then I didn't get around to playing it. <laughs> but it seems so, so fun. It's, if I remember correctly, it's described on the description page as like, a relationship disaster something or other <laughs> I can't remember exactly but it sounds like good good fun and I don't know how good it's gonna be for recording to be totally honest but we'll find out that's what we're here for Oh, it's also called Amaranthus. I should have mentioned that, but you know, well, see, look, it said it all by itself. I know how to play visual novels. Thank you. What's different about this? Automatically save. Uh-huh. That's great. We love that. Okay. We love accessibility. This is fucking fantastic to reach a satisfying ending right 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 that's right there's also the fact that there's no way to get a good <laughs> ending off the bat so i don't know how many run throughs i'm gonna do this of this rather um we'll find out who knows we'll just play it by ear you know go with the flow thank you Sound effect captions, enable line interruptions. Uh. Dialing somewhere and so cut up part way. Wait, 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 wait. Through a line and the next line played automatically. P what? But why? You know what? Fine. I guess if I accidentally click it, click to advance the text or something. Wait! Wait! Are there. Is there voice acting in this? Oh my god, I was racking my brain being like, oh no, I'm gonna have to figure shit out. Wait a minute. Oh, dialogue will always wait for player input. Wait a minute. Aw, oh, wait a minute. No, maybe, hmm, hmm. I don't, hmm. Well, it says recommended. I don't know about this. This could be a bad, hmm. Well, we'll find out. <laughs> Fuck it. This feels like the more chaotic option, so we'll, we'll, we'll go with that. Do we want sound? Duh, that's too big. Never mind. Okay. Boy. <laughs> that was a lot of awfuling for simple settings, but you know. Okay, there aren't. There isn't voice lines. I didn't think there were, but then it led me astray a little bit. I confused myself. Let's be real. I did it to myself. I could be your friend, if you'd like to be. If I was... No, that's not at all what I want. Uh-oh. Eric? Who's speaking? Oh, okay. You have to go, boy. Dad? They're at the door. Try you can hold them off. Ah, oh, shit! See, this is what I was worried about. <laughs> oh, is that the front door? Well, you see, pulls me to my feet. Come on, boy. Don't look at me like- I have your things. You packed? How did you- how she- you had a bag ready? For me? They're trying to take you away, Eric. You have- they found us? But you always said we're not ready. Oh god! What- <laughs> what about you two? I can't read fast enough. You have to hide, Eric. The bell guards will take you in. They'll have to if you beg for sanctuary. Don't tell them they're all- any more than you have to, and don't go wandering about. If they're coming- oh god, stop asking questions! 
Is that? Hmm? All we've ever tried to do is keep you alive, Eric. Don't risk that for us now. Look, son. Just wait. Wait, alright? We'll sort this out and come for you. Dad, I- Go! Aw, oh, man. I love how it immediately gave me examples of, like, this is what your line interruptions are gonna look like. I'm like, hmm. Okay. <laughs> I wonder if that's bad for recording, but at the same time, I feel like this is more fun this way. <laughs> I need to... I need to go. I need to go. Let's not see what's going on. I'd rather not. Merrill, hopefully that's how you pronounce that. Yeah, make sure she's safe. So they've finally been caught. Merrill and Tari were always so sure they'd get away with it, but can't go around talking like that forever. Lord had to nab them eventually. Keep slow, cautious, and hidden in the shadows. No one here. Soldiers must have started with us. Smart plan. <laughs> Pick up the people who talk the loudest first, and then have them point you in the right direction. There's an enormous pine tree overhanging Merle's rooms. Knock, knock. Oh boy. Merle. I seem to recall you had- oh. Oh no, did Marius send you? Has something happened? Something's happened to me! <laughs> Not to make this about me, but it's about me! I'm sure Marius is fine. Oh, he always is. But whatever is it? Let me in, please. They're looking for me and I don't want them finding my crumpled body in the garden in the morning. What is this, Eric? Does Marius get all these questions? Don't you just let him in? When it's my brother, there's distinctly less chance of an anguished runaway making a midnight confession of love or such. And anyone else in this tree doesn't tend to try to get in, Eric, darling. Lord Cowdat. Sure, that's how we're gonna pronounce that. Lord Cowdat's finally cottoned onto us? Is that a, is that a phrase? Is that a normal phrase that I have just never heard? Okay, well, he never. Soldiers came to the house, tried to take us away. Mal bundled me out the window and said to head to you and beg sanctuary. Tari was holding off, holding the soldiers off. I don't know what happened to them. We have to do something. They knew this was coming. I think they had a plan. They won't give up anyone else. And the soldiers can't come for your parents without serious evidence. But what will happen to them? Nothing that'll get better if you're involved. He said all you have to do is hide me, okay? They'll deny all accusations, play dumb, and come get me after. What if I refuse to go back? If it's not safe with them anymore, maybe now I'll be allowed to get out. Maybe I can stay with Marius. Maybe I can finally go. Please, I've been tossed out of bed, pushed out a window, and then crept through the entire village to get to you. I can't stay up here much longer. The tree sounds like it's gonna break under me. Can you go in Marius's old room overnight? They'll find me. 
I suppose it'd be too obvious that we were hiding you. We could always toss out some hay in the stable roof. Well, you could. Climb down and I'll meet you there. She's so pretty. This place is bigger than my house. Hey. And a good evening to you as well. Here, up this ladder. But first... The hay down here will be fresher. That bale there. And maybe the top layer from this one. And can you carry just one more? She doesn't offer a helping hand, just running commentary. <laughs> Scrape together and together a decent nest in the rafters. Are you going to put back Are you going back to bed? Are you safe? Safe as I think we'll get, and I'm wiped. Well then. I'll reach out to some contacts. I really need to get back to sleep. <laughs> yes, I did deduce that. Would you like a book? Amon gifted me a stack of historical epics the other day. They've been gathering dust till I saw you next. I'll be out like a light as soon as I hit the hay. <clears throat> oh, motherfuck. I'm not coming with you. Oh god. Uh. Oh god. Wait. Now I have to start thinking about buried voices. Son of a bitch. Eric? Can I at least see you so that I can get an idea of what voice I should be doing? God damn it. Mary, you sleep in the stables? Ugh, not every night, only when I'm having- Aw, oh, shit! <laughs> I didn't get to read nearly enough of that line. Wait, can I go back? Wait a minute, I can! Dang! I could have been doing this the whole time, but that's probably annoying. So I won't. But I was just curious about this, because I got to read, like, literally five words worth. <laughs> They're hunting you down too? The soldiers? What did you do? Soldiers. It's just the usual crowd stepped on the wrong toes. And does Mira know you're in here? She put me in here. Does she know you're in here? I hope not. I thought you weren't allowed anywhere near the property anymore. What did you do? God damn, dude. <laughs> Eric. Buddy. A friendo. <laughs> Lay off. I just want some dank sleep, okay? Jeez, bud, that's your mattress. Look, get up. Let a master show you how it's done. We can do as a pile of hay over here. See, right on top of the rafters. Less creaky. Another over here. Or we could just make one real big pile, right? You should take it slow tonight. I'll stay over here. Right, right. <laughs> For the best. See you in the morning, Rico. Rico? <laughs> He'll be gone in the morning. He always is. There are voices coming from just outside the stables. Sounds like a crowd with horses. Marius is gone. My bag, my sword is just within reach. Dive into the hay, fastening my hand around the hilt of the sword. Aw oh, shit, am I gonna have to kill a motherfucker? Uh, was that a good sound or a bad sound? Uh oh. Oh. They're looking for you, Eric. Malantari? <laughs> Is 
I don't know. Con taken and your place has been torched to the ground. I'm sorry, Eric. No, no, it's okay. It's fine. I always figured it was coming. And they'll be fine. They wouldn't let themselves be taken if they weren't going to be fine. But they never did anything. They walked out before I was around. And they talked nonstop, didn't they? About the war ending, what happened to his father, this never-ending tyranny. <sighs> I knew that, look, I went into this knowing that I wasn't going to know a lot and I wasn't going to get a lot of information until like multiple playthroughs in, but I didn't realize how lost in the ocean I was going to feel. <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> you can't run away and then talk like that forever. Eventually you have to act. Yes, but they weren't going to act, were they? They just liked to talk. We all have plans. All he wanted you to do was to stay safe. They're not coming to get me. They never did anything. They can't get in too much trouble. They'll be let go eventually, and everything will just go back to normal. My house. When the Lord realizes it was a mistake, I'm sure the court will make up for it. <laughs> uh, for now, it's fine, though. I, I insisted I hadn't heard from you for a few days. They can search all they want, but they can't come in here. Amon and Pear would never approve of it. What do you think you're Parent, what do your parents think is going on? Uh, they know how your parents are, and it seems quite clear you're on the run. They've probably guessed every part of the truth except for you being here. If I know Aeneas, she'll be suspecting that part too, but they're smart people who know the power of feigning obliviousness. Otherwise, Merle never would have met me. Of course, eventually I should probably tell them you're hiding out in here, or Pear might get a fright next time he comes to check on the horses. I don't plan to stay here forever. Well, let's start with tonight, at least. I'll find my brother and we can talk. Okay. Don't forget about me. Never, darling. Hecarooski. Oh, snap. Uh, hello. His poses all look so like stupid. It's so I love this. <laughs> Wait, who the heck is that? Um, out you come, Eric. Let's let me introduce you to the major. I offer a hand. She takes it with a cautious but powerful grip. Oh shit. Um. Oh man. I don't want to I'm already f breaking my brain trying to figure out what the f I'm trying to grasp onto the slightest thread of what is going on here. I don't have the brain capacity to think of voices. <laughs> Mercenary ex-soldier in the 15th battalion of his lordship's army. My loyalty and my rifle are pledged to the service of Eric Teresen. Teresen? Son of a bitch. If you won't stay here where it's safe, you're not going out there all alone. My gift. That's definitely a rifle slung across your shoulder. Uh, just the major? It's 
the major is fine. Are we gonna get chased down by people trying to reclaim that gun? Honorable discharge. Uh, <laughs> and for your old friends. Marius sounds the same as usual, but the twitches are new. Are you doing okay? Uh, holding up? Mira says you're leaving town. I don't have much choice. Right, your place. I heard. And she said I'm coming. Wait, did she? What she said was Eric needs to son of a fucking gun horse. He needs to leave town for a bit and I think it'd be good if you did too. Okay. Well, if you want to come, I won't say no. We're going to the capital. Okay, sure, <laughs> wherever. But I have a condition. I'm only coming if I get to bring someone. You, you what? This is scroll I know. You haven't met her, but I think it will really work really well. And she's useful and powerful and really intimidating, which can't f not be useful. And she could use something like this, just as bad as you. Things aren't great for her these days. Also, I've really been looking for an opportunity to talk to her, you know. <laughs> Can't this just be a family affair? We're going out because it's something Eric needs, right? I know someone who needs it too. We can't deny it to her. As long as you know what you're in for. I assure you, I'm making a completely informed decision. It shouldn't take me too long to find her. I'll be right back. <laughs> Eric, please tell me you want to go to the capital because you think it's a delightful holiday destination and you've always wanted to see Lord Cabot's gardens or something. Because that would be the better plan than the plan I suspect you're about to propose. Pretend I'm Arius. There's no point passing judgment because I'm gonna do whatever I want anyway, right? There's no need. <sighs> Fine. Say your piece. All my life. Melantari have been telling me that somebody needs to do something. The war's gotta end. The Kaurat has to be stopped. We all say things like that. Uh, do we all mean it? It's not really any of our business. I mean, it would be lovely, of course, but what can we do? Someone must be worried about what we can do. If they're coming here, taking Malantari, looking for me. So I'm going to the capital. What do you expect to do? Do you think you'll change his mind over dinner? Not entirely what I'm envisioning. Do you have to be special, Eric? People get taken every day. You're alive. Go out there. Stick with Marius. Go underground. Anything. Stay safe, like they said. Why are you so determined to do something? Uh, I'm not safe. Uh, mm. Yeah, clearly I'm not. I'm in hiding, bro. I'm not safe. They won't find you. I won't let them come in here. I can't hide here forever. All my life I've been told we have to do something, and nobody ever has. Where's that gotten us? I either hide out forever or I get caught without doing anything? <laughs> so your solution is to go straight to Lord Kata. There's nothing I can do here. People try to face him down all the time, don't they? I have heard that close up he's just a mass of scars and stitching from all the assassination attempts. So what's happened to all of them? 
I think they're usually hanged. Sometimes he kills them in single combat. After what happened to a fall, oh, shit. You are a jerk. Oh, <laughs> uh, this is Ran Alistair. She she's pretty well known in um my area. <laughs> Prolific. <laughs> He's doing his thing. Draws himself up taller back to his old posture. Head straight like Meryl's feet planted on the ground. I've never heard- Mate, you live in the shitty part of town, but socially, you're nowhere near us. This is the treacherous Eric Terrison that I was informing you about earlier. He, he's not trying to be rude. His fingers run up and down his shirt as if he's itching to button it up, tug at his cuffs, and- Straighten a tie. He's organizing this. Merle's eyes are fixed on Marius' shirt cuffs, too. Or maybe on the buttons? Oh, organizing for a pre grade definition of the term. He's the one who wants to go, yeah. I didn't even know the old Marius was still around. I told you, I don't give a shit about it. Son of a fuck! It's not a holiday. Taking on Kaudat. Well, what? Oh. Is that why you want me to come along? Marius wants you. Oh. <laughs> Marius makes some carefully chosen gestures at me, his back turned so she can't see. Why do you want to come if you're taking down Kaudat? Cause I like getting out. I want newness. I like blood spilled. Cause I want teeth sinking into flesh and tearing. Uh, and do you have anything practical to offer? Uh, uh look, trust me, we're all terrified of Ran. She'd be an asset on anyone's side. <laughs> Can you fight? Uh, yeah. I feel like the major should be weighing in here, but she seems disconnected from the entire conversation. Ran sees where my eyes go. Not like that. We're offering a view of valuable opportunity here to diversify the talents of your party members. Oh dear. It's quite sweet, really, if it wasn't so transparent and Ran seems thoroughly unaffected. At the same time, there's no denying the spark in Meryl's eyes every time- every single time Marius pauses in the middle of a sentence, deliberates, and then enunciates each word. Can't hurt to give it a go. Oh lord, what is your commitment? How do you get anything done? She can come. If it's what she wants. It's very much in- it very much is indeed. Totally. <laughs> now that we've got that sorted, can we jump back? I think I missed something. Why have we turned into revolting peasants? We've always been revolting peasants, god damn. Why have we turned into revolting peasants who do things? Because the only alternative I can see is hiding in your stables for the rest of my life. Because Eric needs us, not to mention your friend. Okay, fair enough. We're leaving tomorrow. And do you want us to go straight to the capital? Unless you know any good midway stops. Why not start with somewhere closer to home? We could make it into the forest in a day. What's in there? Haven't you heard? Those soldiers with your parents. I assume they're going to the capital, but when they left town, they were heading the long way round. So I made some inquiries. For the past few years, people who go into the forest, and anything they go in with, don't tend to come out. My mom said that even our deliveries go around. 
isn't dark and spooky. We marched around the forest. They said the trees were too close to go through. As whispers spread, people began to avoid it, but no one seems to know exactly what's in there. Here's the key. Early on, it was only the military getting waylaid. Supplies. People. So, whatever it is, it could be working against Lord Cowdot? That could be your... Our best chance at starting something. Right. Get to the forest, see what we can find from there to the city, and then a ship to the capital. That's it. Wait. I've got nothing else to be doing, and I assume no one's watching out for you. Look pointedly at Rand. She just laughs. <laughs> but what will you two tell your parents? They... They love me? They love us, yes. I'm relying on it. Are you making an excuse, or are you blaming me? A little of both. I've already told them that you need to get out, and they know about the Major. D does that mean you want me to- We've been talking about it for long enough already. Don't you think it's time? I- Isn't this what you've been holding out for all along? Fine. Fine. Just don't... Fine. Ugh. This is gonna be tough. I need to sort out things before we go. Gotta get stuff set up. Right. Meet tomorrow morning? Okay. Uh. Uh. <laughs> uh. What? Uh. Boy, oh boy, oh boy. Uh, what stuff? What stuff does she need to sort out? Oh, you're not the only one in criminal, I know, okay. I bet she's getting up to... I get the strong impression for a moment that Meryl is considering saying something quite cruel until she thinks better of it. I'm most impressed she has that in her. I... I actually see ya. <laughs> what the fuck? Like a puppy. Come on. Are you happy having her with us? We can leave one or both of you behind. I'm a little concerned. She may try to kill us all in our beds, yes. But we do have the Major. No one will be killed in their bed. <laughs> Very good. Now, can you come along? We have arrangements to make. Patron? Okay. I know what that means. Um, wait. How long have you been doing this? Seven. Eight years. I guess the fact that you've survived so long is a good sign. Your friend thought I was worth paying. That's all you need? Even though the decisions we're making are almost inevitably going to result in what could very possibly be our deaths? So does war. I suppose if you made it through enough of that. What do you want? Uh, how do you feel about this? How, how do you feel about the uh, <clears throat> mission? I fought for your country against... Akilau. Uh, Akilau? Yeah. Two years. I fought alongside Akilau for three years. I will fight f I will fight your cow out with you while your friend will pay. Uh what what are they like? Akilers? Not so different if you decide it doesn't bother you. Very different if it does. Okay, I'll take it for for now at least. Boy, boy. I mean, listen. I spent most of I spent most of my life being confused, but, but this is this is a new level of <laughs> of confusion. The village is filled up with soldiers, but they're not hard to avoid. 
before I met Meryl, I spent all my free time running around the back streets. Must have woken up before everyone else. Whoops. That's weird. I've never done that before. That's not true. <laughs> I've never really looked at the memorial here. Stone Pillar bears the names of all the locals who died in the war. Must be one of these in every town in Rishert. Rishert. I'm guessing ours hasn't been updated in a very long time. All the names still fit. Script up the top reads, Those we lost in the Sea Wars. Back in the Sea Era, under the reign of Lord Adair. The back Sea Barnet. Boy, they're really testing me here. Kadat's War, the She War. Doesn't get memorials. Heroic young people don't march off valiantly. We're dragged kicking and screaming. No Teresans listed, of course. Can't find any honorises or rails either. Tari and Mal's families weren't from around here. There are a few bell guards. No Alistars. No Abaroas. Since Marius and his dad are the only two the village has ever had. Someone scratched in a jagged X near the bottom. Beneath it, blunt blades have carved more names into the stone. None of our names on there, I hope. How would that make any sense? There, time can be fake sometimes. Time can be fake sometimes. Where is from? From? Where is what the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> what? There's a bag slung over his shoulder. It's far too small to have anything useful, so probably a single chance, a ch single change of clothes and a backup supply of something. Do you have any weapons? Do you? Well, yeah. Show him the sword that Mal gave me when I left, belted to my waist. Oh, right. <laughs> that. Good job keeping it around, but really not for me. Do I have these? <laughs> His brass knuckles catch the sunlight. I remember those. With your name on the inside? Monogrammed engraving. Yeah, from Mira a couple of years back. Honestly, I'm impressed you kept them. Guess that's fair. Sometimes you gotta throw a punch. Otherwise, I would have traded him off by now. He holds up his right hand to show me the crooked joint on his pointer finger. Snapped that right when I started, but once I got the hang of it, people stopped bothering me so much. But, oh, shit! In a hurry. Uh, I... Oh, uh, what the f... Figured I'd be last here. Meryl's gonna... <laughs> Meryl's gonna be late. I... I swung by the house. She was making arrangements with her... Our? Your mercenary, last I saw her. I side-eye his secrecy, but he's too busy side-eyeing Rand to notice. Oh, why, why the hurry? I'm a scorched earth sort of person. <coughs> What's that supposed <laughs> Slower. How much stuff are you making her carry? Jeez. You know as well as I do that money only gets you places if you look like it. <clears throat> uh huh. We should go. Yeah, we should. Pull my hood up over my head to shadow my face. It's not much of a disguise, but seems to do. We make it past the village gates without trouble. The streets are mostly empty this time of day, straggling people with wagons dotting the road until eventually they aren't, and we're all that we can see. Oh my god, we did it! We took one step! So Eric looked so small and hungry that I invited him home, and Mama and Pierre didn't mind. I think they enjoyed having a boy around again. And then he came for dinner the next night, and the night after that. Mm. 
And actually, hey. So what are we doing here? Oh, we're gonna make Lord Kata answer for what he's done. Like we said. Hmm. Got any skin in the game? They came for me. My parents held them off long enough for me to escape. And they got taken. We never got ourselves private calls. What did you do? Mal and Tari weren't quiet about their dislike of the war. Or how they felt about the Lord. Or... That'd do it. They never bothered us, but we weren't political. We? Leaving people behind? <laughs> nah. So, less for vengeance animates your bones, then. Lash now to everyone who does you wrong. Self above all else, that junk. No, that's not me. I'm trying to keep people safe. Keep the country safe, even. Oh. The fall of her face is a work of art. I gotta go talk to Abaroa. Who? And there you found the middle ground. That's one way to phrase it. And then they find us. Uh oh. There's five of them, all on foot. A straggler in the back drives a cart. One soldier looks down their nose at us, eyes roving head to toe in cautious assessment. They probably want money. They're all well sorted out. Uh oh. Marilyn marries Belgar? I never. Indeed. Have sir or madam sent you in pursuit of us? No. In fact, we've been alerted of your harboring a known fugitive by the name of Eric Terrace, and every time I say that last name, it, it's a little different, because I don't know how to say it, and I can't decide on a way to say it. My bad. So much for a disguise. We appreciate your situation, but Terrace will be coming with us, as will you for the moment. Oh, shit. Uh, put your weapons down. We don't want to fight. Well, we really don't need to. <laughs> this straggler with the cart is caught up. Slung across the benches are an assortment of ropes and chains. Mary's hands fastened in the back of my shirt. Don't let them take us. His voice is a thin prayer. I can feel the shake of his fingers in the space around my skin. Ryan is holding her hands carefully, fingertips curling into her palm. I can't see what she's clutching. I ain't going down here. Not now. Not easily. Waiting orders. We... Oh, fuck. Uh, I mean, we're not surrendering. Um... Oh, Lord. Um, we're not taking them with us. But this is. Oh no, I don't want anybody to get hurt though. But also, we came here ready for a fight, right? If we can't even deal with this fight, how the fuck are we gonna take down Lord whatever his stupid head is? Time to change our approach. I scan all five soldiers, taking in their armor and equipment. They've got blades strapped to their hips, but not much else. They aren't expecting a fight. Oh no, now I feel bad about this. Oh no. Major. Fire. Oh lord. What did Ryan have? <clears throat> Three left, plus the one with the wagon. The man who's pinned Ryan is trying to shout orders. I can't see Rayanne's face, just a mess of hair and jacket and dirt, but her pale hands reach up towards her attacker, one clawing at his throat, the other slapping at his cheek. And suddenly there are streaks of blood across the man's face, neck, and hair, and he gargles and chokes, falling away to the side. Ugh. Oh, ma Major? That's enough. Uh-huh. What? That will do.
Rest. Jesus. Rand's victim is on the ground. The skin on his neck hangs in jagged strip. Oh, no. No, no. <laughs> we can take them with us. Like how they were going to take us. Can't we? What? Keep them with us the whole way through? Why the fuck would we do that? That could never possibly make sense. We need to do whatever makes us invisible to the Lord. You heard what I said, Major? It could work. It could? Hostages. Hostages? Hostages. I fail to see any other option for us to take. Eric, we can't start like this. Not with this reckless killing. It's too late, homie. I already did. We didn't start it, dude. Nevertheless, it will not continue. I said I wanted us to- And now I have said. We can't afford to lose Meryl. We literally cannot afford to lose Meryl. It means sacrificing two of our greatest resources. I walk over to the cart, careful not to make any sudden moves. The soldier cowering beneath the cart bench averts their eyes as I approach. I reach past to get the ropes in the back. Marius and I tie up the three remaining soldiers. They don't fight back. As we tie them up, the Major twitches her rifle from one to the next to the next. The mural stands by her side, leaning heavily on her cane. 